Live, Linda. Just kidding. That's an empty box. Okay, sound is on. We've got different things going on right now, but we're fairly caught up. Uh, it was a interesting feeding with honey. I'm trying to build a rapport with honey. Um, she seems to be very timid and jumpy. So I just worked with a little bit of trying to get closer to her. She did come up to me fairly close once or twice. Um, but we'll, we'll keep working with her. Uh, it's not a guy thing because she goes right up to Tom. So it's, it's probably the way my voice is um, that's, that's got her a little startled. But uh, the best time to work on that when it is when we're feeding because they really do want to eat and I'm there. So they kind of have to compromise. Um, so I'll work with her some more with that. Uh, yeah, Jen Rizzo, everything's fine. <laughs> everything's okay. Uh, so we got a bunch of the dogs out today. Um, Bumble has been doing really good. I'm really impressed with Bumble. Um, I think Bumble may turn out to be a really good dog. Um, one that we work with to, to deal with somebody that really, you know, as we used to say, the bomb-proof dogs. Um, it be interesting to see the next three to six months with Bumble because, boy, the dog is, is pretty good. So is Oakley. And, yes, and Megan likes Oakley. <laughs> Partial to Oakley, yeah. Doki doki. Uh, any suggestions for leash training for the dog that pulls? First question I always ask is what kind of a leash do you have on that dog? If you have a collar with a leash clip, that's not going to work. Um, if you know anything about how we train, you know we use all the motions, the quick snap and release with a tension chain. And so it's weight, quick snap and release, and you have to be consistent all the way. It's every time you let that dog get away with it, you can just count on having to do it even longer. It's really, you have to have a lot of patience to get them to slow down. Um, if all else, stop the dog, start over again. Janko and Jonathan, I believe, was his name. Jonathan. Django. Django, the dog, the man in the wheelchair. What's his name? John. Jonathan. I don't know. Oh. He comes from Finland, Mr. Finland. Yeah, Mr. Finland. Yeah. So they did very well today. Yes. And that was a nice dog. Good job with it. What's that, Carl? That's not. I mean, that Mer. That's not. That's not the one from Czechoslovakia. That's no. honey. Oh, okay. That's ours already. Yep. Yeah. That's one of the Merles in the Pooh Bunch. Have we got suppers organized? Yeah. <laughs> there's leftover chicken dinner, so there's chicken and chicken thighs. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. There's some corn, but I'll just line up. And that can just be heated up in the microwave. So that'll be quick. 
Yeah, that's when you had you decided to go with Chinese, so she just cooked it up in oh, for yeah. tonight. Okay, well I thought it was the Chinese for breakfast and lunch. Okay. So that's all. Who was that? Also, also made today. So we're on a stretch of fairly good weather here. It gets in, in the 60s, almost 70, and it's uh, it gets down the fi mid 50s, lower 50s at night. It's perfect weather. It's good weather to get out and about. We are supposed to get a little bit of rain, I think, Thursday night, and then Saturday, and then some into Sunday, which is Mother's Day. Average sort of stuff. There was one there with Megan's name on it. That one? Uh, nope, it was a card. There was a card on top, the one right on top. Good Lord. I know what that raises. Whatever. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Attention, Megan. Um, Sam, I, are we talking about? Oh, we, okay. So leaving the farm. Yes, they should be. Um, I give the Tums tablets, the calcium, to Charlie at least two or three times a week because he gets acidy stomach. Um, that's what I use it for. Um, and it seems the big breeds get an acidy stomach a lot. I mean, we get little puking episodes down the far, down the barn sometimes, and we'll give them a couple tums, really? and they're, you know, you're, they're puking, puking up like bile acidy. That usually is when they have an empty stomach. So there's nothing to come up but bile. They put a cookie in there. Well, yeah, no, we feed them and then do things, but like Charlie does it every day, different times of the day, he'll get, really? and I give him a couple tums, and he's good with it. Okay, careful with the calcium. Uh, Steve, is tomorrow night the dinner party and will you be there? What dinner party and where am I what? supposed to be? Linda didn't tell me to be anywhere, so I must not have to be anywhere. Dinner party? I don't know anything about a dinner party. It's on Saturday night, the 19th. Is this the volunteer party? Yes. Oh, we're getting close. So and that's... Yeah, it's getting close. <laughs> uh, yeah, good thing the sun was up, yeah. Uh, I will be at the volunteer party. Tanner will be at the volunteer party. All, There'll be a good crowd there. There always is. We have a good time there. I just didn't realize it was coming up that quick. Um, I know Sandy has told me a dozen times, but Linda's really the one who tells me where I'm supposed to be, no matter what day of the week. So I'm sure Linda will start to tell me. Uh, we do have a potential recipient sh coming in Sunday. That's Megan's side of the house. So I don't know a whole lot of the details on that other than that we had discussed that and that's going to happen. After that, we're lining up things. We've been working on that for the past couple of days. I did not realize that was that close. I didn't either. It's the 10th. Yeah. It's the 10th today, or 9th today, 9th or 10th? 9th. Ninth. Ninth. So 10 days that. away. A week from Saturday. Um, I don't even know where it's at. I know I've been told a dozen times, but right I mean, the center of Middleton. Oh. Angelica's. On 62? You know 62? That's why I follow people. 60. <laughs> 60. Well, Farmer Brown's, you know Farmer Brown's? Oh, yeah, yep. So oh, yeah. Keep that going on down there. Oh, okay. Yep. I do know that. That's the back way to get to Richardson's, too. You can go you, up you, to... Yeah. If you went from Farmer Brown's to Richardson's, you'd have gone by... Okay. Oh, I do know where it's at. Yep. Yeah, I do. 
Yep, I do know where that's at. Very relatable. Continental. Okay, so we have a new person helping Carlene today. She's not new to us, but she's new to the position. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to... Acting like it's really challenging. It's <laughs> <laughs> not that complicated. No, right? I don't think so. Sometimes you get your own school to sit on. Yep, I Sometimes you don't. Well, I have okay. she got I two like of them now. Yeah, this one I got to leave. I need to call it with the lead on so I don't get tired of standing up here. There we go. We're organized. The first exciting one here is from the Executive Office of Labor and Workforce Development. I considered throwing it out, but I thought maybe I'd heard about it. Read it first. <laughs> yeah, let, me, let, me, let me look at it. What'd I do now? Holy smokes. $2,100 past due. What the hell is this? That's not good. Please be advised that your account has been deemed a delinquent for failure to pay. And it, are you listening, Linda? What? This account has been delinquent? What account? Account? Executive Office of Labor and Workforce Development. Unemployment insurance. That's the one we just paid. We're up to date. Oh, well, I'll put it in the pot. Yeah, they need to get their records up to date. Well, I should check your records and send it back. No, no, we don't want it. Don't want to do that. Yeah. No. With a smiley face. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that goes in the pot. With just a reminder, you can have that. I don't know what to do with it. Right over here. Oh, okay. Right what, what you do with envelopes, you always look at them. That's a very important thing. Uh -huh. Just okay. to make sure that I didn't leave anything in there. Okay. This is Associated Counseling Services. That's probably to do with somebody's application. Unless they, somebody figures they need counseling, which could be. You want that one? Okay. Writing to support candidate for service dog. Huh. Well, Don't do psychiatric dogs. Yeah, but there's somebody who could be making a fortune out of it. Uh, that's Harold and Wanda. Oh. Harold and Wanda eating Cheerios and pecan. See? Okay. okay. Always pecans. So in there. Pecans sending, and Cheerios. I think they were about pecans and Cheerios. They're sending us poo pickers? Yeah. Sometimes they send us political poo pickers. Oh, please join us. Oh, June 21st. Let's have to give that to Megan. Okay, Central Hospital for Veterinary Medicine. This is the bill for Stacy's dog, which we have paid already, but I asked them to send me a copy of it just to see what they were charging, just for information. Internal medicine outpatient check, $95. Serena tablets. I think that's don't throw up type tablets. A blister pack of them, $60. And betadine scrub and gauze for $20. $178. Going appointments for her. Yep. Yeah, certainly running it up, but everybody's been wonderful in helping us pay that one. She also said that they have 
but they ran a fund to help her and that she would be sending us money to help what are we paid for? Which is very nice. Oh, a complimentary canvas tote bag. That's all we need. Huh? What? Are you talking about Pixie? Pixie. Yeah, I got a bill from them. It's already paid. Okay. We, got, we had been depleted, but we got more donations today. We got more donations today. Yeah. I think she told me that they ran a fun deal and that her mother was going to bring up a check for five. For us. For us. Yeah, Logan, her son, every year, yeah, last year and this year, runs a fundraiser for SDP in Florida. Wow. And they're going to come and bring wonderful. their check. Wonderful. To replenish our... Yeah. yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, May is better hearing month and speech month. Good. I hope somebody else can hear that. And this one has something in it. This is from Linda Paro, Watertown, New York. The dog's making a racket. She is. Open the box from the side that's taped back. Just one. Oh, just one. One okay. small one. The empowered veteran. Huh. Oh, Linda. What? We have to send a Janine's book to those people from Norway. Okay, so we have some of that. The Empowered Better, Strength and Confidence to Harness Your Future. Dwayne Power. Do I know it? Are those books? Book. There's an empty envelope. Look out. Make sure it's not. Okay, here we have an explanation. Enclosed. Two copies of my son's book. I think trainer team would enjoy. My son is also dedicated to the betterment of veterans. I'm very proud of my two sons and husband who are all veterans, thank you, for making a long, long winter here in northern New York seem a little better. Entertainment here at 5 p.m. every day. <laughs> they must be watching us. Love all the dogs and donkeys and amazed at how quickly a Great Dane grows. Isn't that true? Linda Paro. Well, that's great. That's one, apparently one for Steve, one for me. And anybody else who wants to read it. Two chicken bricks, please. Okay, we can take care of that. Put that in there. Donna's very good at that. Donna's very good at a lot of stuff. She's learning to work in the barn. Okay. I don't know what you're going to do with those, but Steve's got to have one. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. And this is from Eileen Caps. Rattles a little bit. Um, oh my. Did I already open something with the knife? I can't find the knife. I didn't do that, huh? Oh, I got it. I got it hidden. Somebody hid it. Get your nose Watch out of your nose here. There, May. Get your nose out of here. We'll open this thing. There may be food in it. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Not heavy enough. Uh, Got some toy or another. No? I don't know. Okay, wonderful. Mug pillar. Oh, okay. We need it. Is that Advantix? Advantix, yes. Yes. We need it. We always need an attic. I give that to you and it goes into the room. Yeah. And, and Linda likes boxes like this. <laughs> Somebody said they have a, pic a mental image of you sitting behind a whole bunch of boxes like this. <laughs> so what do I do? Throw it over there? I'll take that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Eileen. <laughs> okay. We did all that. Box, every box. We did. That's it. And then this goes back up here. 
this goes here. Thank you. Harold and Wanda, Linda Carroll, and Eileen Caps. And then you come over here. And this thing, you see the, the the show comments here? That's how many comments you got at the moment since Steve left. Okay. okay. So you click on that, and then you have 12 comments. Hey, it's feeling better. I was born in Watertown, Henderson House Harbor, just south of the people talking to each other. Yeah. And then somebody's making fun of us or whatever. So glad she's no longer sleeping through mail call. Front door at 443. Who was that? He and Tanner, everybody will be at the volunteer party. Get, get it good, Madam. Uh, okay. Linda, is there a package at the front door? By any chance? I can look when I go down there. That would be good because somebody said it was delivered at 4:43. Okay. So that would be after we collected it. Okay. May. May. Come on, May. May, you stay here. May, you stay. Got a girl. You have to stay here, May. Oh, you have to have a chair. I have to have something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then when you go back up the top, there'll be more blue ones. Uh. Okay. She's a good girl. Which direction are, are we girl? going in? She's awful pretty girl. She's awful pretty. Yes, yeah, Okay. So There's a hi there for me. Hi to Palm Mom. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Bumble is turning into a really good dog. Might be the next bomb proof dog. Megan is partial to Oakley. Well, that's Jer is, that, is that Jerry? Is that Jerry? Yes. That's. that's Forklift Jerry? Oh. Must be. Must be. I had the best time of the forklift. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I did. I, I that wish long. I was here oh, to see God. it. Oh, God. Getting that stuff off there with 30 seconds worth of training, it was wonderful. Oh. <laughs> I, I missed I, I that. I thought it might be appropriate tomorrow to, to, to teach Carrie to drive it. Okay. Where is she? Carrie? Oh, she's, a, she's doing laundry in the guest house. Oh. Oh, really? They did it already. Okay, did we already get this question? Not asking for details, but any potential recipients scheduled to come to SDP in the near future? I, I don't know. I don't keep track of that. It just happens. You have to ask Steve. Steve yeah. Megan. I think you're into Steve again. Go back up the top. Okay. Where is David? David is on vacation for a couple of weeks. Really? Huh. Yes, and back to Jerry. Yes, Tanner and Steve will be at the volunteer party. I even wrote to Purina today and told them that I had unloaded their stuff with our newly tricked up purple, <laughs> purple forklift. Uh, forklift. <laughs> And they, they send me back smiley faces. Yes, yes. That's a funny thing. <laughs> I think we ought to take a video of unloading it. Because people, we unload it fast. There, now see you got nine yeah, more comments. Yeah. You click on that bar. Nine more. Please ask uh, camera person Teresa to come on camera and wave hello. Oh, yeah, who's uh, that? Puppy love, 10 puppy love. Oh. New York. Nice to see her there volunteering yet again. Yeah. I can't get too close to the camera. I'm a little stinky from dogs. <laughs> Hi, Doris. <laughs> and how long is Carrie there for? Oh, gosh. Yeah. I don't know. A couple days. She's here till Monday. We got another package. Another package. Okay. Oh, a message from Regina. From a week or so I'm ago. Set it down on out here. I'll put it right here. Oh, yes. you did come put it right there. Okay. Then it's from. It's right it's turned around. I'm sorry. It's turned around. I'll get it. Got it. Do you have okay. your? Do you have That's your? Why I found the stool. Is there another one? 
Elizabeth, Peachtree Corners of Georgia. Where is it? Is it back in here? Yeah, it usually slid right in the front of someplace. Oh, here it is. Is this it? No, it's a that's okay. the knife. That's the knife. Okay. Peachtree, Georgia. Yes, Regina, they finally got me in front of the camera. Uh, I have not cooked tonight, but I will be. And it's <laughs> going to be something in the microwave. <laughs> Okay, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, well, pretty. Every dog has his day. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, I feel that goes in the pot. Oh, okay. I think I have sent you a weird assortment of presents. Hope you can use some of these things. I put a couple of travel water bowls, thinking you could use them in your car, but I'm not sure they're big enough for a dame. Maybe you could give them to Janine for Wanda? Well, that could happen. Here's a little money for the fun fun. Thank you for opening your home to us via Explore. You are a daily inspiration to me. You even had me touching my nose to my toe. Aha! We 20 all, people. We all tried that. I'm 21. You're 21? Or were too. you one of the 20? I don't Did you know tell who Steve? counted me. Steve was counting Steve was here. Okay, then he must have included me. <laughs> Hope to make it from the farm one day. Enjoy your spring. Here's, here's hoping for grass. That's from Beth. Thank you very much. And she says we have things in the in toy box. We have a toy okay. box here. We can put these all down on the floor. Here you go, babe. And they will have all yours. Oh, my heavens. We have some weird things. Oh. Oh, bake shop. Oh. Bake shop in every bite. Look at that. Uh huh. Oh. Good. Shortbread rounds. Oh, good. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Mini scruples. Oh, oh, very nice. That's different. Here, May's on her job. Oh my heaven. Oh my heaven. Oh, this will be good for the guest house. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> or, I'm almost out of shampoo. There must be a shampoo in here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, everybody. <laughs> Balancing bugs. Things I used to demonstrate center of gravity a million years ago when he taught when she taught physical science. Oh, okay. Okay, let me fool with those. Hey, if you taught physical science, let's come up with a few more ideas. Oh. Here's your entertainment for tonight. Yes, absolutely. I don't know where. I'll put everything back in the box after we empty it. Okay. And we have some advantage. Wonderful. And the mix. 
Buttery caramel corn, red oh okay. Okay. Love snacks. Thank you. Oh, this is the dog dishes. Oh, these will be fine. No, uh, the travel dog dishes. Yep, that's perfect. Yep. Okay. Okay. This is a, oh, this is one that. This is one of these things. Perfect. That's even better. That's just thought. the right size for me. Yep. Service dog project. This is Carly. Yes, I am. just having no problem at all with it. So. Nope. Okay. Bye. Somebody wanted to buy McDonald's. Oh. No. You don't want to sell it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. One of the better decisions I ever made. Yeah. There was a gas station there since 1917. And it was they dumped oil right all over the place. And we couldn't cope with it. We knew we were in trouble, my sister and I. And uh, so I just, I didn't have a realtor. I just called up McDonald's Corporation on the phone. Yeah. And I said, look, I think it's a property. I think, you know, so they put me through to the realtor and we, we accomplished the whole thing without a realtor. Really? Including yeah. having them pay the taxes on it for two years while it got cleaned up or we would have lost it because the property taxes were $70,000 a year. There was no way in hell we could come up with that money. We would have lost the property. If we, but McDonald's made a deal with us that they would pay the property tax until it got cleaned up and then put up a mid building, and they did. They were right. wonderful to deal with. I had no goal. trouble. <laughs> no trouble. Good them up on the boat. Good decision. Yeah. Idiotic, but good decision, you know. <laughs> I, I called a couple others. I called... I called, I called a couple of them and I just didn't get the proper response. Yeah. The, who was it? The fried chicken that I liked. Kentucky, oh, Kentucky fried, chicken. fried chicken. I called them too. Yeah. Okay. There's some maybe. duct tape in there. Duct tape. Two Wonderful. rolls of duct tape. That's used for everything around here. That's true. And we got more paper in the bottom. And a box of, of Alpo snacks that Bentley has just discovered. You know, if he smells them or if he recognizes the box. Oh, no. We got more coming here. Hey, you got all that? There's May. There you go, babe. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That was great. Great packing. Might find some of those after dinner. Yes. Yep. No, nothing. No, that's not Okay. Thank you. 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 Was it, did you, what do you got in your face? You got a piece of it in your face. Get it, what the hell? There we go. Okay, who is the new helper? Well, I'm Cindy, and I've been here for about six months now, but this is my first time doing mail call. How is Sizzle feeling? She's fine. Has she been under the weather? No, she had to work today. I took her out. Oh. Took her out harness. I had the opportunity, what's that? I had the opportunity to recommend some place to purchase pens, so gave them the name National Pen Company. I hope this is the place you used. It, it is. Was it National Those Pen? Those pens are nice. You get a pen in your, if you buy one of our carry-all sacks. Yes, among other handy among other things. <laughs> it's yep. worthwhile. Maybe. Oh. May is so big. Yes, she is. Yeah. In a short amount of time. 
Obviously, May is feeling better. That's true. Was she under the weather? She had urinary tract infection. Oh. A lot can happen in a week since I've been here. Yeah. Okay, back up the top. I think we are again, right? Yep. Let's see. <laughs> Love forklift it. Forklift Jerry. Now, Jerry is now Forklift Jerry. Yeah. And Teresa came. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is doing, what happened. You're doing mail call very well. Thank you. <laughs> the nose knows, yes. Bentley's nose does. <laughs> right through the cardboard box. Ugh. Oh, same photo, Bentley again, checking out the goodies. For Carlene, will May get to walk around the pond in time with Bentley, Sizzle, and Chaos? Oh, yeah. Sound is not very good too far away from the mic. Really? It must be you, because I'm so close to it. Average. <clears throat> Sometimes they have to turn up their sound. Good here, even without earbuds. Ditto. Here, Carlene and Cindy just fine. Money pot is behind Carlene. Someone must have seen me looking for it. It had been moved. <laughs> I couldn't find it to put the 20 in for the chicken bricks. We have a hi to Vanessa. Uh, oh, hi, hi. From Palm Mom, I think that's Regina. Who will hold down the farm while everyone else goes to the appreciation dinner? Somebody volunteers to do that. Okay. Will those who hold down the farm be treated or compensated compensated for the appreciation dinner? I don't dinner? know what happens. <laughs> Bring them we a meal. We certainly appreciate it. Yes. No hot foods. Hey, don't knock the nuker. Penguin can't cook if not for it. <sighs> Usually we don't rely on the microwave, but tonight it's going to be right. microwave warmed up chicken dinner from yesterday. Okay. Bottomless box, that's cute. Yep, it was a bottomless box. Please tell Teresa that Regina says hello. I think we're back to the beginning. I think we are. So I think we've got everything. Wait. Two more. Two more. Are you still going to nursing homes? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're, we're winding down here. We are. It's time for more. dinner. Try that one more one there. Try that one. This one? one up one. That blue, the blue. Uh, the blue. Oh, one new comment. Okay. How was Carlene's day? How is Mayhem doing? And did you do any training? I took Sizzle into a container store. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh. oh. And I had a terrible time trying to get my pill from Costco because I kept calling them and trying to renew it. And I renewed it three, four times and they said it's already been revealed. And I was calling the wrong store. Oh. Oh, it wasn't. Oh. I sent Megan down to pick it up and it wasn't there. It took me a while to figure out that it was in some place else. Okay. <laughs> did you ever get them? Yep. Good. Good. I did now. <clears throat> took one right away. Okay. We're all done? Uh, yes. Who's the awesome Andy tells them stories? Well, we all go to the party. Oh, oh is that what she be. does? Oh, okay. Awesome Annie. Well, we'll see if she's here that night to tell stories. All right. Do you have an oven to bake in? Yes, we do. We have enough food? We have an oven to bake in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have a huge convection oven. Okay, I think that's everything. We have a convection oven. We have a second convection oven down in the tea tent. Mm -hmm. and we have a regular oven in the guest house. Okay. So the answer to that question is definitely yes. Okay, is that everything? Oh, yeah. Good night. Do right shut here. the mic this, off? This thing right here. Yeah, turn it off. Oh. Service dog